Well, um, in our search for alternative energy, uh, we've been uh, looking at many different ways to heat our place. Um, this is a um, propane catalytic heater. Um, this is not an alternative energy. The propane is known for a long time. But uh, what we did, this one is for usually designed for RV and we use it uh, in this little cabin that we live in um, so I made a rack a stand to put the pot on top because we learned through um, when we were um, searching into greenhouse how to keep greenhouse warm in winter that people use water to store heat during the day so the heat shine the greenhouse there's gallon drum whatever of water and water is says it's said to be holding twice the amount of heat than the rocks for example masses of rock so heat seems to way to the the way to go the water seems the way to water go. seems to be the way to go heating with eating water so um so yeah there's about maybe Two, three gallon of water in there so the heat rise heat that it never go to the boiling point because it's only a little heater and what is that rack made out of oh this is just two by four in plywood screws and that's it and the actual rack itself uh, the the grill here it's from an old barbecue that we scavenge on the side of the road there's plenty of those around let's take a look at the water in the pot yep clean water well relatively clean <laughs> going to take the pot off so we can see how the rack is attached we can do that so the heater is mounted on that piece of plywood there's a platform at the bottom that hold this this one up and uh, this hold the the grill that's it uh, so so it's the principle of hot air rising, yeah. heating the water. Yeah, and the water can also, uh, the air can also escape at the back of the pot, so it doesn't accumulate there, and make the thing explode. So the heat can go all around the pot too. And then there. But the the next improvement we did is when we saw that oh, it really seemed to to improve um, our storage capacity instead of heating air um, by heating water we store energy we store heat so the next step was oh well we have uh, some room in the back of those shell uh, where we put the, our food and and then uh, so I started to gather gallons which there's an unlimited supply out there and um, put water in there there's about this room is 14 by 17 and there's about I would say close to 30 gallon of water stored close to the ceiling so it absorbed the, the heat uh, slowly and release it slowly instead of you know going out of the building quickly when you heat hair So all of these plastic gallons that you've recuperated from the various uh, garbage alongside the road are filled with hot water and they stay hot for about how long do you think? They maintain their heat. <coughs> well, I don't really know. It's, um, it, it, they were filled with cold water, then they became hot. And I mean, they're warm. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it depends how, how, how high you want the, the room to. The, the, the thing is, it, they, if you turn the heater off, which we do at night, uh, this cooled down, but it cooled down slowly instead of hair going out of the building and cooling qu quickly. So would you say this has cut your propane bill in, in half? Well, we haven't made any uh, scientific uh, calculation or, you know, uh, but uh, it seemed to have cut drastically uh, our um, you know consumption of propane I have the impression that's cut it in half so that's seemed very good 
the good thing is it uh, it's easier to warm up the, the place faster and it cool down slower because there's already some heat in the room so you can heat it further up more easily and in the morning uh, it the temperature has dropped but not as much if it were if there was no water. And the other nice thing is that it's not so expensive. You you can get the water from your tap or your mm -hmm. well and then the gallons you can usually find them in the recycling by the side of the yeah, road. Yeah. So it's not a really expensive solution. It's yeah, very low tech also. Yeah. We're aware of the the floor with the the coolant, you know, and the floor and the radiant floor they, they call it. Uh, but then it's uh, it's a relatively expensive system. Uh, you can't find the pipe on the side of the road, or if you're lucky, uh, but most likely not. And uh, not sure what the antifreeze they put in there. Uh, in our case, it's only water. Uh, worst case scenario, if it freezed, um, you know, we don't fill the jug completely. Uh, probably would expand and would be fine. Uh, but if it's if your um, system in the floor freeze it's big big expense so that's a question of expense it's water it's plastic gallon that are going to be you know that are thrown out you can replace them you can replace the water and so to us it's um and it seemed to be working pretty good